Welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Jay. Welcome back. <laughs> I can't take this seriously, dude. You want to restart? <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so, I just want to address something before we uh, get into the episode. So, last week, Jay and I uh, talked about um, Jesus versus Tarzan. And um, I posted a promo of it, and some people were offended by it, which I totally understand if you were offended by it. You just don't understand our humor. You don't know us. Maybe that was just your first time seeing us have a conversation. So if you were offended, that is not what we meant by that. We're just, jo- we're, just, we're just joking around. Definitely not what I meant by that. To me, it's funny. I guess to others, it's not. Yeah. And... uh but I get it though. I get why people were offended. Maybe they're not. They haven't been exposed to somebody using Jesus' name in that light, so they were offended. And maybe now they'll be more primed for the next Jesus joke. And if not, then see you later. And all I know is I'm the the pod's just not for people that get hurt by that. Yeah. So hopefully you guys understand. We did not. We're, this is not a podcast about offending people we're just having a good time and stuff like that gets said you know this is just regular sh- regular shit regular shit people say this shit all the time <clears throat> dude some some people uh, actually um threatened to unfollow me i've I've actually never been threatened to be unfollowed before and that was the first time so dude shout out to the- <laughs> threatening to unfollow <laughs> yeah. like hey i'm gonna unfollow you dude. yeah keep like, that up <laughs> keep I'm that unfollow keep that up bro see what happens <laughs> okay <laughs> your number I'm going to get followed by the next dude that thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the first time I've ever been threatened. Actually, that's the first time I've ever been threatened through social media. Um, so it was the first. It was very interesting. I don't know, dude. You got to have more. You got to have something better to do with your time. Yeah. If you're threatening <laughs> to unfollow. Yeah. You know, maybe they just see themselves as very important people. So, hey. I don't know. I'm important. They're like, they're saints. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, uh, a fan base, or like some people are only where they are because of a fan base, but I don't believe that to be true as 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 minute of a detail as that. Yeah. So people are going to get offended and that's not what we're here for. I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, we're just here to fucking make jokes, Dude, you know? Bless anyone you. could get... <laughs> I thought you were about to sneeze. <laughs> anyone could get offended by almost anything we say. Like I... Very true. There's tons of logic slander on here. There's a lot of dick jokes. Maybe people are anti dick. Well, how could yeah, how could you be anti dick? Unless you're ace like the only way I could see you being anti dick is if you're asexual. There might be, dude. People are, are could be attracted to inanimate objects. That, this. This. If somebody was attracted to that though, I'd be a little concerned. Yeah. <laughs> They're attracted to 2D Mario. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this 2D? I mean, technically, it's it's not. It's kind of like lifted a little bit. We're talking about the, the, the painting on the wall, by the way, if you're not watching this on YouTube. If we're going to get really into it, is anything ever 2D? Man, don't hit me with that, bro. That's what I'm saying, dude. Oh you asked it. I'm just saying, it's just like a little lifted off the... It's a little lifted. Like, if I look at it from a different view, I kind of... I can see the, the dimensions. A little fat head. <laughs> That's what I am. Yeah, and by fat head, I mean you... What? You're like a buck 90 in this? Probably, yeah. Nice. Damn, thinking about myself at 190 is pretty crazy. I just, where did all the weight, like, where does all the weight sit at when I'm at 190? In your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, you guess you can't penetrate it then. Oh, yeah, dude. If you have a small ass dick, you're not getting in some big old cheeks. Yeah, and some 190 cheeks. 190 on. pound cheeks. <laughs> Yo, I was listening to Brilliant Idiots today. And they were they saying, have Brendan, right? Yeah, yeah, they were saying that autistic people have, usually have, bigger asses which is true hmm. they have the strength okay and they have and they usually have big asses i think that's where the strength comes from i only have a sample size of like two so that's all i got oh, i you mean, only got two autistic homies yeah <laughs> you're not down with that no i'm just that's all i know so you're not I... down with the downs <laughs> yo if there's anything i'm down with it's the syndrome <laughs> see someone might get hurt by that <laughs> down with the syndrome yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean is it i mean my my brother has autism so is right. it, does that give me a pass to talk about autism it does give you more of a a, a pass yeah yeah i have more i have more headway yeah i'm i i i have i have autism but is it the same argument as my best friend's black 
<laughs> that's true i'm not racist my best friend's black yeah, yeah you're right i don't know is it but i'm also autistic myself i have a percentage of autism yeah it's a in spectrum my, in my in my genes so i don't know yeah you get it you gotta pass let's get it bro i'm about to get i'm getting down with these jokes <laughs> 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 wait till we get warmed up i, I think people uh let autistic jokes fly i mean like you just said on yeah i don't i don't say the r word thing. though that the r word is oh is that's definitely not allowed yeah. yeah the r or the f word those are not allowed in in, in this but when did the r words start to not be allowed when i hit ninth grade that's when people stopped saying it ninth grade yeah what so 2015 <laughs> <laughs> i was like 14 however old you are in ninth grade 14 oh okay so a while back that but you clearly remember like oh it's not cool to say it yeah anymore. i think i would I, I would just like look for the word and nobody would say it, and i'd be like okay it's not cool anymore to say that oh like online you're looking for it no no, no like saying? in person like i'd just be like walking around trying to hear the word and I, <laughs> just, nobody would ever say it you're so. like r word radar like, <laughs> damn it's yeah. empty over here no uav <laughs> shout out to call of duty bro i fucking love i i have such a strong um connection to call of duty and people who play or played Call of Duty. What's your favorite Call of Duty? Four. Definitely the, the best 4. Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty Four. Uh, we would always run uh some sniper one on one one v one matches on 1v1, shipment. One v one, no scope three sixties. Yeah, because I I knew all the spawns in in Call in of shipment. in shipment. Like I don't remember it anymore, but I would I knew all the spawns. So once I got used to that, I would just sometimes shoot through the um the uh the actual sh- uh what is it the uh freight freight like the yeah, crates yeah, yeah. The yeah. Crates. so yeah would you say you're pretty good at that uh 1v1 on against my friends yeah, yeah i was good at it but against like people that really played i was terrible oh. yeah <laughs> i wasn't good enough to go to the league i remember shipment uh i would always start with a class that had um three frags on yeah so just spawn and then Throw, throw a frag, shit. yeah. But that was never a, like that was that was some bitch shit though. What what's more bitch shit that or noob tubing? I never noob tube. Yeah, I didn't do I didn't do either because I, I always played. I, oh, I always played. You always played with martyrdom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. It took me so long to figure out what that was. Every time I died and it happened, I'm like, oh shit! I accidentally threw a frag right before I died. It was a. Uh... Right after, or right before I played Call of Duty Four, I was like still in Halo mode. So mm-hmm. in Halo, you always run over the body you killed to take all their ammo and shit. Mm-hmm. So I was so used to it. And then when we went to Call of Duty Four, I was just dying used to like, martyrdom yeah. all the time. You just used to like running people over with your feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad Call of Duty didn't have vehicles. I feel like having vehicles in a game, especially if the maps aren't that damn, you're fucking down in that thing. If you didn't it's know, <laughs> Jay, you might as well finish it right now. Here. Jay is has another beer, this this time a different brand. He has a red stripe. Dude, let's get sponsored. Dude, Jay is an alcoholic. Nah, dude. We're gonna get sponsored by AA. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> get yeah, that. I have a, a sponsor. AA sponsor. <laughs> you might have to be the first podcast that has an AA sponsor. Oh, I mean, if it helps people, at, at least no, as long as I don't have to buy into it. Specifically, you. You, me huh yeah you need some help hey hey this <laughs> yo Mers, can i get another one <laughs> um so did you did you see that aisha aisha curry thing that's been talked about yeah uh you want to start yeah so a co- i don't know when this happened but she was on red table talk with uh jada pinkett smith and her grandmother and her daughter i believe who also run the show and she was basically talking about how jada's daughter yeah. Oh, okay. She was saying that oh. Steph Curry always gets all the attention from girls, and she's kind of upset that she never gets any love from the dudes. Yep. Which, you know, it sounds funny. It sounds kind of like, come on, bro. But I get it. I get it. She just wants some attention. Dude, I get it. All women, all women, a lot of people in general just want attention in that kind of way. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. But isn't it i don't know but but what what's also weird about that is her wanting the attention but then like if she's not gonna take on the attention like if she's not gonna entertain it then what's really the point of having the attention you know because she's married and she has kids so i don't it's know not like you could still be a dedicated wife and um still want that attention i think the the maybe the thing that makes it kind of like awkward to hear or funny is that she is married to a superstar 
who is not a bad looking guy and uh they're super rich beautiful family and uh just no one wants to hear that from her because <laughs> yeah, you know much, what i mean like you're yeah. you're pretty well off like, yeah we don't want to hear that but yeah. it's i don't know it's funny you're you're allowed to feel that way it's just funny though yeah you're you're allowed to feel that way <clears throat> for sure steph's mom's hot dude super hot yeah way hotter than Aisha. if aisha sure. if aisha wants attention she needs to step away from his mom yeah dude she <laughs> is fucking fine bro like she this whole so bad this whole playoff series they would show them in the stands but they just focus on like the parents and like yeah. aisha's like right there <laughs> just so to the side maybe that's why she, okay you know what i see you. but like okay so what does she really want though does she want to be she, does she want to be cat called by dudes like hey like look at this like you know I don't even know how to catcall, but like, would, 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 is that what she wants? She wants to be walking down the street and people are like hollering at her or? Yeah, that's true, right? Like, I'm sure she doesn't want to be catcalled. I'm sure she gets some attention from social media. Like, there's got to be thirsty ass dudes in her DMs or in her comments or on her Twitter. Like, there's got to, there's just got to be. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's got to be for sure, but maybe she just wants like articles about her, like, Dang, Aisha's looking smoking hot in this photo. Yeah. I Maybe if it. she cooked more better food. More better. More better. <laughs> Maybe mo she cooked better. Mo, mo better food, then we would uh, start catcalling her. What's up, Germ? Welcome in, Germ. Uh, J- our cousin Germ just uh, walked into the building. He just, uh, <laughs> we paid him 15 bucks last week to shave off his head completely. And uh, it's all grown Dude, back. Dude, your hair's already here. Yeah. <laughs> so it was basically just. We gave yeah. Free we money. just w- wasted five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like Joe Rogan bald, you know, like he was gonna be bald to the core. No, but you have to like use that single blade razor with shaving cream to get yeah. that type of bald. Would you ever go that bald? You need a certain type of head. Yeah, and I don't. You wouldn't ever go bald. I don't, I don't know. I could see you going. You have the head shape for a for a baldy. Oh, do I? Yeah. Well, then maybe I will. Like a like you have that round head. So if I start thinning. Then I might, but I don't think I'm a thin. I already started getting gray hair at 21, so that's my Damn. that's my penalty. Yeah, I, I I could see I could see you with a nice bald head and thanks. Um, I feel like once you I feel like w- the, that's the next chapter of your life, low key being bald. Yeah. What if I end up looking like Neo? <laughs> Dude, look at Neo. He's well off. Yeah, but he's I, actually I don't know I don't, I don't know if he's well off. I not. think he's well off. Do you think so? Centennial grad Neo, yeah, he, he has must, to be well didn't off. Didn't he go to UNLV too? I think so. He's got to be well off. Everybody that goes to college <laughs> is well off. <laughs> Dude, lot, who else went to UNLV? Um, the guy with the late late night show, Kimmel. Yeah, he went also to went to UNLV, but he's not bald. So, oh yeah, huh? He's not well off. Fuck. Only people who are bald are well off, bro. Who else has a weird ass bald head? Sam Cassell. <laughs> yeah that dude looks like a fucking alien when he puts that towel around his head he looks like et, <laughs> E.T. <laughs> <laughs> put him in a crate <laughs> uh, <laughs> digging in the crates yeah he does look like he does look like a fucking he looks like extra testicle <laughs> dude no nice I remember, kindergarten joke <laughs> i remember a long time ago uh mike tyson had a towel wrapped around his head mike tyson <laughs> and like he looks he looked like et right and i was like i'm about to make this fire ass viral tweet so i went on photoshop and like photoshop like a picture of him next to uh et ET. like they looked exactly the same and i posted it and that shit got like one like <laughs> i was like fuck man dude it's always I, the ones that you don't try on that yeah. pop dude yeah my most successful tweets were ones i just let on let on the fly yeah dude the other day so i i posted this kind of this gif kind of thing on my instagram the other day um but it was i only posted that because the other day i saw myself scrolling through the explore page and the 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 it was a video of me like just doing a bunch of different positions and and the caption was like looking for the right sound like oh that's but and the, and the video had like fifty thousand views and I was like holy shit wow I need to do that <laughs> that's me yeah that's me that's, is that the first time you've seen that yeah that's fucking tight it was weird it was like. <laughs> Is that me? Like you're you're on the explore page going through the videos and you're like, hold on, that's me. Yeah, and I clicked it and I was like, there is hell of views on this. That's tight. I want to run into myself like that. Yeah. Well, you know, I could make I could make you a, a dedicated page if you want. No. <laughs> <laughs> if it's ran by you, like yeah, I have a bunch of I have a lot of pictures of you, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get arrested if it's by you. <laughs> yeah, you might. Yeah, you're gonna definitely go to jail. <laughs> um, dude. So the other day, right? I was uh I was playing the guitar. And I got shocked by the fucking, by the strings. Oh, yeah. How does that happen? I have no idea. I was like, I used to, well, it used to happen before, like, like, 
not it wasn't that bad before right i just thought my hair was getting caught in the strings and i was like oh this is i probably shouldn't lay my hand here that way and then the other and then the other day um i just i i laid it on there and i was like trying to feel it i was like what the fuck is going on and then it sh- it like really shocked me like to the point it hurt yeah i was like oh shit and i like almost dropped the guitar and Damn. i was like holy shit and then i looked it up and it's like a, it's almost like a common problem if you have uh faulty wiring or if you don't have the three pronged um outlet joint or if well i have seen where your amp is connected to and that shit looks busy dude there's only like three things connected to it three is more than one that's true it could be that i'll just say uh i i played guitar for a while especially as a dumb little kid where you make a lot of mistakes and it's never happened to me yeah maybe it's just a freak thing yeah you freak (laughs) I'm a freak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it hurt though. It did. Like it, it on a pay, on a, on a, on the scale on a scale of one to ten. It was at least a five and a half. What's a ten? Braces. No, a ten is like getting stabbed. Oh damn! What a scale. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the stab scale. <laughs> Play that, bro. <laughs> oh my bad. yeah so i mean you know if you're not using a three-pronged uh cable for your amp or if you just have a bunch of shit plugged into the same outlet beware are you gonna borrow my bass oh shit i keep forgetting dude i keep fucking (laughs) it's right next door it's like it's literally like right here where i'm pointing yeah i'll I'll, I'll get it after this you if you are planning to use it on an amp though it you do need a bass amp Oh, you can't use a regular guitar amp if for that? If you use it, yeah, I think if you, like, use it too loud or, like, too long on a guitar amp, it messes up the um the sound. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Because well, it's, like, time. too low. Too low of a frequency. Damn. Did you learn the hard way? No. You just learned the Google way? Google way. Dude. I love people who use Google. Google. Yeah. Google. <laughs> Google. Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Got the little accents on it. <laughs> has like the the enyes over the o dude if anyone if if you should if you make a new shirt it should just be just google it yeah for for you (laughs) i mean people just don't know how to google dude i don't i don't know what it is i don't know why people are scared to take exactly what their message is to me and just paste it into google yeah and then if there's no answer then at that time you say hey wiz i googled this no answers do you know and you say no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck Wait, out what, of here. What is that? What is that from? Oh, it's SpongeBob. from the, the magic. The magic conch. The, the magic conch. <laughs> um, dude, I saw the other day the um, how they were promoting the new Thug Travis. Uh, who else is on here? Uh, Thug Travis and Cole. Yeah, Thug Travis and Cole, and they were passing out flyers at um, what festival was it? uh rolling loud rolling loud right yeah and people would just started seeing dude i think that's such a smart way to such a cool way it's such a cool way to promote a song especially well you can really you can only do that if you have demand like no i don't want to see like your oh yeah if it's just if it's just just a random like soundcloud person nobody's gonna fucking care get out of here but when you reach to that uh, that pinnacle yeah that physical passing out fire shit that's a cool way yeah i think that's cool i think um yeah, it's just because people are going to talk about it. I mean, fuck, we're talking about it right yep. now. We would, I, we probably wouldn't have talked about it if, if it wasn't brought up that way. Yeah, like so. imagine it was just like uh, like a snippet of them in the studio, and then you're like, okay, boring. Yeah. But because it's a flyer, it makes it look really good. Cool. I hope it's really good, man. I hope it's good. And I'm also glad that J. Cole's not, he's not as meme right now anymore. Yeah. Uh, I think when he, when he's featured on like those kind of people's tracks like he does a really good job yeah dude his feature game is it's it's really good his feature on 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 21 savages album that was really good really good all the features that he's done before that really good so i'm glad that he's becoming less of a meme and just becoming more of a of a guy that people respect and who has been in the game for a really long time now yeah so definitely respect him i haven't heard a j cole joke from you in a long time (laughs) Because I know you don't like to hear them. No, it's just it's like they're just not funny. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Like I'm, I'm, I'm using the same ones over and over. Yeah, because yeah. you don't have any. You don't have any ammo. I'm not them. original, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just read what people say on Twitter. Yeah, I need, I need a new one on my timeline. Yeah, but but it's because people because it's just I feel like the music is it's just it over it overrides all that. 
Yeah. Just like with industry plants. <laughs> like if, <laughs> if you're, you're in, good, if you're good, then it doesn't matter how yeah. you got planted in the industry. You know. I mean, your your girl is a is a plant. Yeah. Billy so Eilish. They so they say, but it's she's gonna stick around because I think the music is that good. <laughs> she looks like fucking. Uncle Tito. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Tito from uh, Rocket Power. <laughs> Wait, did they even call him uncle? No, I think they just called him Tito. 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 Oh, what up, cuz? Tito. I don't even <laughs> think he had the Hawaiian accent. He just had some purple ass well, lips. Man, were they not in Hawaii? They're in like Oceanside or something. Yeah, I they think. were they were in Cali, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, Tito from fucking um from Hawaii. Yeah, she needs to take a photo with Ray Shremmert so they really look like the gang. Oh my god. <laughs> they do look like they're in fucking and they also look like they're from Rocket Power. Yeah. When art when real life imitates art, dude. <laughs> Hold on. I, I always I always have this this uh this weird I guess it's not a weird feeling. I just have a I always have a funny feeling when we bring up old cartoons that was after Merz's time, which is our cameraman and cousin. Like we always talk about cartoons that we're just after his childhood. Almost all, all cartoons we bring up are after Merz's childhood, except yeah. for Backyardigans for some reason. <laughs> yeah, which is like bef- that's after that's after me and you. Yeah, that's childhood. after our time. So that makes me wonder why the fuck this dude knows about Backyardigans. Dude, that shit bangs. <laughs> I, I don't I don't blame him. <laughs> it is a, they do have the catchiest song. Best of all theme time. song. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. I feel like they grew up to be kind of hood. They are kind of hood. Yeah, there's a moose. Penguin. There, there's a moose. Yeah. Mooses are hood, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess to be hood, you got to be a moose. <laughs> <laughs> or meese. Shout out to our <laughs> meese. <laughs> shout out to our friend Moose. Happy birthday. Happy belated, actually. Yeah, still a shout out. It's been like a month. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're going to tell me about this. Uh, What's up with this Monsanto thing? Oh. What's up with these farms? So for all the conspiracists out there you already know about the Monsanto gang the Monsanto family of uh, California gang that they control all the pesticide gang 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 up um so they gang, recently bang. got hit with a 2 billion dollar lawsuit against them uh because this this California couple was using um Roundup mm-hmm. it's a weed killer they've been using it since like the 70s Which though is- Manufactured by Monsanto. Manufactured by Monsanto, and then they finally proved the case that they got cancer because of it. Oh, shit. It was directly from that. Yes, directly from that. And there has been other people also trying to sue. It's just that I guess they had the best lawyer, so to Bill. Okay, so let's say say you're that couple, right? Let's say you and I are that couple. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) So we got cancer, right? Yeah, shout out. Stage three. Damn. Stage four. We'll say stage four. We sue them for two bill, and we get paid the two bill, but now we have stage four cancer. Does it really like? Does it really weigh out? I don't know, like the fucking cancer. Because how long has it been since nineteen seventy? About almost fifty years now. Yeah. There's no way I'm gonna play a long game for fifty years. Yeah. To to, to and get cancer for that. So do you think that like if we were to receive the two bill, does that outweigh the fucking the cancer that we have? I mean, if it was a part of my job, then yeah. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, if I was using the weed killer and I just had to to get by, like, that's the thing to use, and then I oh, end up getting cancer, then it's saying. like, it's like why not get yeah, the yeah. two bills? They weren't using... Yeah, 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 I feel you. They weren't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like they were doing it... Just to do it? <laughs> just, just to do spraying, it? <laughs> spraying weed, ki- yeah. <laughs> weed killer in the room as, like, fucking air freshener? Yo, weed's not illegal, or not legal yet, so let me just huff this weed killer, bro. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Damn, that's some next level fucking angel dust right there. Yo, I mean, people be huffing all types of shit. I mean, in high school, I was tempted to... to huff to, the keyboard cleaner? Yeah. <laughs> From the red straw, yeah, I was tempted. <laughs> People would be doing that. I shit. don't, I don't, I don't know what it does to you. Maybe it gives you like a quick angel dust kind of high. Yeah, I hear it's just like a short, um, a short burst. Yeah, a short like five minute. Thing. People used to do it in what high a waste school of time. under under the bleachers, and your nose would start bleeding. Really? Yeah. Right. What's the point? I don't know. I don't like know. that. What's the point of that? And what's the point of spice, dude? I remember trying spice in high school also, and like. It didn't. It didn't feel. It felt just like a headache. That's so, all I felt from spice is a yeah. headache. Every time I did spice, that shit was a headache. I hope I get. I could sue them. <laughs> you smoke a lot of spice. I I had like um one canister. That was it. Like 
I don't know how much that shit was. Twenty dollars from the we- from the smoke shop. Yeah. Damn. The one right there. Yeah. Fuck them. House of Smokes. Yeah, because they they sold it to me, and I willingly bought. So you it. would never, you would never do it again. You would never try. Smoke that shit again. is such a waste of time. Yeah, especially now. I'd dude. rather smoke like five cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> all at once. Yeah. That, <laughs> that spice shit is such a waste of time. Yeah. Dude. You don't. You don't really get. You don't get anything from it. It's bad for your lungs and. Weed is legal now, so five it's cigarettes like, at the same time. Yeah. God You're damn. going extreme, bro. <laughs> You're fucking extreme, dude. You look like a uh, you look like a organ. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn, that's that's such a that's such a uh, a perfect analogy for that. An organ? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm nice with this imaginary. Are you shit. an Are you an organ donor? I am an organ donor. Hmm. Are you not? I am. Oh yeah. Do you believe in the thing where if they happen to catch you like half dead, they're most likely gonna leave you dead thing? To get your Oh, organs? because you are an or because you're an organ yeah. donor? Is that a conspiracy or is that That's real? That's a conspiracy. Like, no, I'm not gonna be an organ donor, then that means they're not gonna take care of me when it, when something happens. No, but wouldn't that mean that the hospital would make less? Because they're not gonna they're like to if they're gonna keep you alive, that means that Oh, they're, they're spending gonna get... money on that to keep you up? Yeah, so that that means that more is gonna be tacked onto your bill. So that means you'd have to pay more. So technically, if they don't keep you alive, they're losing out on some money. That's a conspiracy mm. in itself, too. You know what I'm saying? Depending, Does that make sense? yeah, that makes sense. De- that's depending on if the organ transplant doesn't cost as much as to keep me alive. Mm. So the organ transplant might co- if I guess if the organ transplant costs more than to keep me alive, they're gonna yeah. do whatever is. Uh, whichever one's a more of a bag yeah i guess to put it in uh current terms yeah put <laughs> to get them in the bag i mean yeah i'm an organ donor dude i fuck these organs i'm not gonna yeah. need them dude you know what always made me uncomfortable like when people would say like i'm gonna i'm gonna uh i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna ram it in your organs or like what is the saying dude <laughs> i'm gonna dick up in your ribs oh my god or like how long is your fucking dick to be in my ribs that sounds uncomfortable. Like, you think... Uh, okay, do you seriously think there's women out here that want, like, a 13-incher? Yes. Are you serious? That's what I, that's what I think. You think You think some women would like a 13-inch in their, in their vagina? But I don't even think the fucking... The, uh... The cervix the canal, can only the, fit... Yeah. It only fits, like, to a pleasure point. Science says that it only goes to, like, six and a half. So then what's the rest for? Like if you have that, if you I have don't know, extra, just to, just to, just to put kidneys. it in there. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds stupid, dude. Big dicks are overrated. <laughs> yeah, fuck big dicks, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not so li- glad I don't have not one. Not literally. Not. <laughs> so glad. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, dude. F- fuck my. Sp- I mean, what? fuck yeah, small dicks, <laughs> yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck fuck yeah, small dicks dot tumblr dot com. <laughs> yeah. It's just gifts of dicks, <laughs> of small, small dicks. dicks specifically. Yeah, just me, just you, you and me's, you, you and me's. <laughs> How do I say this properly? Yours and mine. Um, just ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. It's just our dicks. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but seriously though, like thirteen inches. That sounds really. In- First of all, it's inconvenient. Yeah. Second of all. You can't it's, if you if the woman is only gonna feel six inches of it like what the, you're just gonna half stroke. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's super inconvenient. Like you're just gonna walk around all day. It's balled up in your pants like a fucking python. Yeah, it's like it, what it you're just taking up space. Yeah, you could use that extra. I would rather be taller than have a big dick. Yeah, let's be efficient here. Yeah, I'm not trying to justify my dick size. I'm just saying right. it's just inefficient. <laughs> would I? Okay, hold on. Would you want to take a 13 inch dick? No. You would want to I take think a six. At, at the most, I would maybe like one. Like, <laughs> a one? Like a nine. <laughs> God damn. At the most. You want a nine? Dude, what's wrong with that? Bruh. <laughs> that sounds cool. You're going to take a nine? No, no like, I'm saying. As my in, own. In, in you. No, I'm not. No, I'm saying in, in no, you. Hell no, that is not what you asked. That is what I asked. Right, if that is the I question. I said take. I said oh, take. Oh, take. Yeah. yeah, take like as into own. No, you know what I meant. No, I, I did not know what you meant. So you'd rather you would want something smaller in you. In me, in I you. don't want anything in me. I already have a hard time taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you already have a hard time exporting, so you don't want to import anything else. Yeah. 
or it okay, takes but me it, forever. If you had to choose though, you'd rather have a smaller one, right? A smaller dick in you. Than currently? Oh, in me. Yeah. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those like uh does your mom know you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> That's the which you know. Shit. That's not you know. That's yeah. not the joke of today's thing. Yeah, you, man. You know, I mean, man, you I, know what I mean. Yeah, you know what you know what Jay means, dude. He, he's on his second beer. You know what he fucking he's he's out here being belligerent, dude. Sips beer. <laughs> Are you getting a little? I guess it's not that. That's not that strong, right? Just it's look. No, those it's beers not aren't strong. that strong. Yeah. No, these are four point sevens, and they're brewed in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> are they? Were yeah. they? Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Were they? No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Did you listen to Igor yet? I have listened to Igor. Th- thoughts? Thirds. Thirds? Um, I spun it once. Okay. At the gym? I th- at the gym. All right. And because I have so much respect for, for Tyler, I cannot give a comprehensive review because I didn't like it the first spin. Okay. But I also didn't like... Uh, Flower Boy. Flower Boy, mm-hmm. first spin, which I and I love that album now. Like that's one of my favorite albums of all time. How many albums or how many spins did it take for you to be like, okay, I actually do like this? Quite a few. That's, Quite a that's few. cool that you like made it that far though. Yeah, because I have respect. I respect him, yeah. and I only do that with artists that I really respect. Like if I don't like it on the first spin, I'm gonna keep spinning it to see. Maybe I didn't get it the first time. Maybe I'll get it the second or the third or the fourth, and. You know, maybe by the twentieth spin, if I don't like it, then I won't give it another chance. But f- with Igor specifically, I didn't like it the first spin. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mood for it. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's really working out music. I I didn't. I, the thing that kind of put me off was the singing. It's off key. And and he he does have a lot of off key or some off key singing in in Flower Boy, which is which it was a little more tol- tolerable in that album in that album. But with this one. It just was a little bit harder to get through. In that aspect, Flower Boy had... Well, in Flower Boy and Igor, there's off-key singing. But in Flower Boy, there are a lot more features. Like... and I Singers. Think, from singers. From singers mm-hmm. to, to sing. Right. Whereas, like, it was on purpose, I believe, in Igor to... Be, be off-key. Be, yeah. Oh, yeah. For him. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I mean, it's definitely uh, an on-purpose thing. Yeah, like but, he's aware. Right, he's aware that it's off, and yeah. and I think he was going for that. But I don't know if I could get used to that. Like if it's you know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I do like the rollout. I I think the the uh, the videos that he dropped, all the snippets that he released pre album. Yeah. You see the video for Earthquake? Yeah. Oh no, I haven't seen that one. Oh. I saw the 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 other previews though, and yeah. I and I like those. And you know, maybe I'll just I'll try. I'll give it another chance. I'll give it a few more spins to um to see if i really like it or not but nice you know i hope i like it i really like tyler i I hope you like it do you like it what are your thoughts on the album i gave it maybe about three spins now i really enjoy i actually recorded a reaction video for it (laughs) are you starting a youtube channel i I want i i like reaction videos so i wanted to try it dude you're gonna start a youtube channel bro maybe dude mers is starting a youtube channel let's go what are you making mers mukbang videos oh let's go (laughs) My bad, I just <laughs> <laughs> on the spot. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, let's it's, get it. We're cool. gonna be, we're gonna be YouTube brothers. Well, actually, we're. I mean, you're, we're, we're already on YouTube. Yeah, we're. Now. Yeah, but you know, we'll all be on. I've already we'll... sold my soul, so like, I might as well. <laughs> we'll buy all be on in. YouTube. Yeah, let's get it. Yo, speaking of mukbangs, dude, fucking do it, bro. I'm ready, bro. <laughs> he said he's ready. I honestly, when I'm eating alone at home, that's all I watch. You because, watch other people eat. Yeah, I watch other people. It makes you hungry. It makes me hungry. It makes me feel like I'm eating with somebody, and it sounds kind of lonely. <laughs> a little bit, like, and it just it it and they're unedited. Well, most of the time they're unedited. Like, so it's easy to make, and you honestly don't even have to be that interesting to yeah. to do a mukbang. I feel, dude, a mukbang is just a food version of a album reaction video. You're just reacting to the food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> allergic reaction are you, gonna, are you gonna watch my videos Probably yeah <laughs> i looked fucking you see you see my my eyes glaze like do i have to <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would listen to him i would watch him okay i think if i like the album i would i would definitely listen to him yeah but if you don't really care for the album just like yeah. with other channels that i watch right like i'm not gonna watch the video no but i think you sh- i think that i think that i think yeah. reaction videos are cool and it, it helps the artist oh they definitely help the artist yeah 
I uh, I recorded it right, and then at the end, I was like, "Wow, this is gonna be so ass." Did you do a sign out like? All right, guys, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Hell no. Smash that like button. And uh, nah. see you guys next time. May- maybe when I get more uh, sold out on YouTube, then I'll do that. Does that mean you're sold out? Yeah. Like, telling the people to re- smash the like Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Bro, because people won't do it if you don't fucking no, say it. No, I get that. it. It's weird. You're not selling it's weird. out. It's, it's weird because people really don't do it unless you say it. Yeah. It's so weird. But... I just didn't do it because, I don't know, that was just like my first time. Did you do an intro? Hey everybody, welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm Jay. I'm going to react. I kind of just we went right into it. Oh, you did? Well, like I gave like a brief intro on uh, Tyler and then I just went into it. That's tight, bro. I would love to see that video. You should put it out. <laughs> I, edited I, it, I edited it today and it's actually not bad. Dude, now you kinda, you're kind of put on the spot. All right, everyone, if you're fucking watching this pod, go subscribe to, to pod, U- Jay's YouTube channel. I mean, sub if you want. Yes. Yeah, actually, you know what? Sub. And then watch the video. Or watch the video, then sub. So you're going to put it out? Yeah, I'll put it out because it's actually good. It's what? actually a good reaction video. <laughs> Let's get Damn, it. Damn, that huh? shit's loud. Yeah, I'm packing some dip. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me? That shit sounds like a hard jack. That shit's off. like thunder clapping for your fingers. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounded like when I came back from when we came back from Japan. That's what it sounds like when your meat's spinning. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Last night, all right, I have you're a confession. You on meat spin? No, no, no. Oh. I just finished spinning spinning the meat. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, I had the usual uh, shame feeling as you do post. Post jo, post nut clarity. Yeah, like you just like you you have it all over you. Well, depending on how you bust a nut, I that's how I do it. I just it's all over me. Dude, I aim for it to be all over me. Not like all over. Like it's still a, in a controlled environment. It's like in your. It's, it's on my ass. It's in your cum gutters. No, it's you. Before that, I don't let it drip down that oh. far. It just gets on my body. Okay. <laughs> I I kind of regret going this far. <laughs> <laughs> my guy looks like a glazed donut. All around his belly button. I have to. I got to crab walk to the bathroom because I don't want it to drip down. <laughs> That's that coach shit. I, I crab walk to the bathroom so it doesn't get on the floor. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Can't leave, man, wait. This is a, this is a, this might be the first time we edit the podcast. <laughs> Anyways, you want to backtrack? I was going to say, <laughs> when I was having my post not clarity, I was like, I might have to stop, dude. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, kind of. Dude, that's what, that's what I was feeling when I, when I told you guys I, was, uh, stop, I stopped watching porn. Yeah, you just thought, you started watching yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I just went to the, I just went to the mirror, like, the mirror. The mirror. <laughs> Yeah. He's in the mirror. Oops. <laughs> looking over the sink like <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you like, like that. that, you little fucking you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch this instead of watching porn, you little <laughs> think you're fucking cool. And then you spank your you spank yourself. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not down with that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was just like I-, I think I should stop. Just because like I don't know. I just feel like I should I should just Take a break. Try it, dude. It's not like I do it constantly. It's not. I'm not an everydayer. Yeah, you know that's good. But I guess <clears throat> I think <laughs> I think once I stopped enjoying it as much as I did before, then that's a problem. Then that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. I think I was yeah, just I doing was it just to do it. I that I think that's what it was. I just did it just because. Oh, uh, like, hey, to, I have a an hour to kill. Yeah, like oh, no one, no, no one's around. Let me just. You text yourself, hey, my parents aren't home. <laughs> yeah. And then you text back, on the way. <laughs> yeah. You pull your pants down. <laughs> if I ever get to that, dude, <laughs> it's time to wrap it up. <laughs> you start jagging off with a condom on. <laughs> I'm all about the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fucking horrible. So, you know, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on the record that I'm going to take a nice, I'm going to take a vacation. That's good. I'm going to take a nice vacation, come back strong, come back with a game plan. Well, that's normally what it's like when we go on vacation and then you just can't like nut yeah, for yeah. 18, 19 mm-hmm. days, and, but it's been a while. Yeah, I think we should do that. So Go on I, vacation? I, yeah, just go on vacation. Yeah, so. just to get away from the nut. I'm down. Yeah, I mean, there's there's been less, uh, <clears throat> not as good reasons we went. 
<laughs> Nut is good reasons. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nut. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, fuck, I really hope that didn't offend anybody. Oh, my God. I forgot, dude. I'm sorry. We just got to say sorry after you every, just after every after every uh, every time we have fun. We Maybe say there's sorry. people in the porn business and they're just like, dude, now you're going to bring my stocks down. Dude, anyway, like I, I just think I think doing the the uh, the have your own profile thing on 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 hub on hub is that's the move. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Like control your shit. Don't be um, don't be a slave to the industry and own your own your shit own your masters like, yeah own your own your fucking homemade videos yeah that's your box own it yeah don't sell it out to bang bros because i'm not gonna subscribe exactly like look at um who's the retired uh hispanic porn star that was in childish gambino's short film uh not alina braz <laughs> fucking mm, it was uh, an a though yeah it was an a somebody uh abella abella anderson yeah Abella Anderson Pack. <laughs> <laughs> she retired, but Bang Bro still has the rights to her videos. So like she she doesn't even have control of where they are where they're seen, how much what the revenue's like from those, you know? Damn, if she's not getting any money any for it. I would hope she sucks. is. Yeah. I would hope she is. More people are getting more comfortable with the idea of sex workers by the day though. Yeah. Not a lot right now, but like Every day, people are are more accepting. More. Yeah, because like, people fucking uh, Mia Khalifa has like her own sports show. Yeah, with like Gilbert Arenas or something. Like, how random is that? Super random. But I, apparently, she knows a lot about sports. So, knows yeah. more more than me. Congrats to her. Dude, it took me a really long time to just accept the fact that I'm just not a sports guy. Like, I enjoy watching it with you know with you guys, and when something is on the line, I enjoy watching finals. Nice Stanley self Cup. awareness. Um. But, like, when it comes to, like, knowing the players and, like, that just doesn't really interest me. As much as I would like it to. You know what's a good start for football is if you did fantasy. Because then you first you get into it because it's, like, money and, like, we're all into it. And then Maybe. then you start to know people by name. Yeah, I guess. I just, yeah. I just never – it was just never really that interesting to me. So that's why I never got into it. But I'm glad that I'm over that phase of, like, no, I am. I, I'm, I'm into sports. I like basketball, you know. Yeah, but now you're just the guy that like, yeah, I hoop, but I don't watch. Yeah, anything. I don't really, I don't really pay attention to it like yeah, that. Like that's cool. how some people are just like. I mean, that's better than trying to fake it, because like, people every day or all the time that I speak with, um, fake it, fake it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of sports, though, like, sorry about the Sixers mirrors, but um, my that was such a devastating. That was it was really that was devastating. a devastating L for my man. But uh, you know how like they're playing the Raptors, right? Mm-hmm. Drake was at the crib watching that game, wearing Sixers shorts. Really? Because he knows the curse is real, dude. Oh, he's self aware about the he's, curse. He's self aware, so he was purposely rocking Sixers shorts. Wow. Fire. Does Drake have that much power? He has a lot of power, dude. Power in the fucking nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's wild. He was wearing six or shorts. Take care of your kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's taking care of his kid. I don't know. Actually, Slight I don't, jab. I would I would hope he's taking care of his nah, kid. Nah, I saw that he was hanging out with the uh with the BM, so. Oh really? Yeah. With the PS. The uh what what's the PS? The porn star baby the, <laughs> Yeah, PSBM. Yeah, the yeah, PSBM. They, were, uh, they were having a chat. Oh. I don't know if it's um they're cool or whatever, but at least they were together, seen together. Maybe they were eating poutine together. Damn, isn't she French? Oh, he's can he's Canadian. Uh, French fries. I just think of him as Jewish. Damn, <laughs> I've never thought about that. <laughs> Laheim. <laughs> Put this yarmulke on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit, I had a joke but I forgot. Damn, oh, that was man. the fastest joke that's ever slipped my mind. Like that shit was quick, dude. Either was, use it or get lost. I was literally about to say it and it's just like whoop. <laughs> that shit slipped my mind. <laughs> um, is there anything else that? We haven't discussed. We talked about Dick, so you know that's we talked about Travis. Those are the two things that we pretty much the two pillars of the pod. Yeah, Dick jokes, Travis, Drake. Anything else that we uh, it's more than two haven't covered? Ta- Jay's about to get a tattoo. Yo, I want to get a tattoo so bad. Are you gonna get a neck tat? 
just on the neck? Yeah. Nah. No? I want to at least stay covered up now. Like, Wait, if, what? if, like, for now, I would at least want to be, co- uh, for want the tattoo to be easily oh, covered. Oh, like it's up. easily yeah. covered. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, I mean, a neck tattoo is easily coverable. Cause it would just rock a, rock a turtleneck in, yeah. the, in the summer. A no sleeve turtleneck. Cause something that I learned after having this stupid ass tattoo is if, uh, hold it up while you say this. If there's no reason to get no, like, an exposed tattoo, then there's zero reason to, I don't know, like for me to get it. <laughs> Do it again. It's so dumb. Look how dumb this is. <laughs> Jay, has a t- Jay has a mustache tattoo on his finger, so when he puts his finger up to his nose, it looks like he has a mustache. Yeah, which think- you already have a mustache, which makes it even funnier. <laughs> yeah. I think we already talked about this in, like, episode five. Yeah, we did. Um, But I think anyone that's here probably doesn't remember episode five we at had, all. Dude, we had, like, five <laughs> listeners back then, and now we have, like, seven. So <laughs> Seven. We've grown since. One of which... Yo, I'm trying to get an all-women fan base. How do we do this? Stop talking about what we're talking about. <laughs> we need to we need to be talking about men respecting us more to uh, have more of a female. No, I'm just playing. No, I, mean, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I know. I, we know a few females that uh, that listen to us. Yeah, but shout need, out to y'all. But we need more. We just got to start talking. What about do you like, do? You want more because you just want more. Uh. 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 What do they have? <laughs> Fucking what? Estrogen. Estrogen. Uh, <laughs> what do they have? I don't know. They... Tits. <laughs> How many shit you got, tits, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I do. If I, yo, once I get to like a B size, there's a problem. Yeah. What are you at? Like eight and a half. <laughs> eight and a half. <laughs> 8.5? I don't know, dude. What are we going to talk about? Like, ovulation? Yeah. I don't um, know. The time of the month? Time of, yeah. I don't know. What do women talk about? That's... Wait, are we that out of it? Nah, hold on. Whenever I listen to... Fuck, man. This is why I'm single. Whenever I listen to, like, my friends uh, that are women having a conversation with other women, it's just about, like, makeup. I feel like women like to talk about relationships. Oh, they stay talking about relationships. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that... we could talk about relationships next pod. And maybe that'll increase our um, female demographic. I just want a more female demographic because... Let's have a, let's have a, let's have a, a podcast just dedicated to trying to gain more female listeners. Yeah, that's a fire idea. Right? We might lose them the next one after that. Yeah, but... But at least we'll have them for that one. Yeah, we got to um, clickbait somehow. Dude, clickbait somehow. And... Subscribe to Jay if you haven't already. He's already he already knows about the clickbait, dude. Dude, but I don't want to. As a reaction channel, do I really need to clickbait you into the channel? I mean, kinda. This Filipino American in Las Vegas reacts to Igor. Okay, that's fucking long. <laughs> You'll never believe what Tyler the Creator said in Igor. <laughs> and your thumbnail's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, people used to make fun of me all the time for the way my face would look in thumbnails. Dude, I mean that one where you you called yourself out and looking like, <laughs> um, like a a lesbian was super funny though. Yeah, when I look like um the dude from Juice, um, oh. <laughs> what's his name? What's his name? Um, what's his name? Mers, what's his name? The dude from Juice with the that I look Bishop. like Bishop Lamont. No. Oh, his real name? Yeah. I wanted to look it up. Um, it was like, whatever his uh, name Mackay. is. Mackay. No. 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 Oh, my fault. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Mackay Pfeiffer. Yeah, I was going to say Mackay Pfeiffer. Um, <laughs> fuck, I don't even remember. Khalil Khan. Khalil Khan. Khalil yeah, Khan. Somebody, he wasn't that off. When somebody said I look like Khalil Khan, I was like, and I looked it up and I was like. That was accurate as fuck. If I just had a hoop earring, yeah. like a mini one, <laughs> this would be my doppelganger. <laughs> FR. Wow. <laughs> FR, FR. <clears throat> All right, anything anything, you wanna, uh, anything we should wrap up with? All right, now we're really wrapping up. Yeah. Um, nah, just uh, go watch my 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 video jay will jay will link it below maybe if mers does starts his mukbang channel today he'll link that below as well um you know we're all just starting fucking youtube channels you know go go hit go look at my youtube channel too oh yeah you do have a channel <laughs> yeah did you put out any videos this week yeah i did oh yeah go watch that yeah go watch, go, that go watch, go watch my videos guys. guys it's about music yeah don't you guys like music yeah we all like music oh one one thing oh fuck i forgot <laughs> We all like music. Come on, bro. That post not clarity. 
post pod clarity. The post, yo, the post pod clarity is hand, very real. Hand me that. Which hand one? me that. Your your empty one. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode oh of the podcast. God. We appreciate the listens. What the fuck? Um, we'll see you guys next week. Cheers it up. Mers, cheers. I just wanted the sound in the pod, so that's why I'm doing it. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Do, do. Belt.